Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless, Editor-in-Chief of MLSsoccer.com, and these are our new digs. But this episode is not about interior design, it's about geometry, particularly angles. And when everything lines up just so, the way it did for the Colorado Rapids, it led to a goal for Nathan Sturgis in a 2-0 victory over Chivas USA on Saturday, May 25th, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. Well, the first axiom of Euclid, the godfather of geometry, says this. Any two points can be joined by a straight line. Well, that only works, of course, if there's nothing in the way, which happens a lot in soccer. Which is why coaches are always yelling about creating an angle. It's an angle that allows two players to be connected by a straight pass. Now, let's start this one back at midfield, where Colorado's Marvell Wynn is looking to play the ball into Edson Buttle. A couple things to notice. First, look at the space Buttle has to work with. Where are the Chivas midfielders? Nowhere. They're totally stretched so no one can collapse on the ball. Second, check out Buttle's control. Notice how his first touch is away from his body. This keeps it away from the pressure behind him and also sets him up to play the next pass. When Brian Mullen collects the ball, he really has nowhere to go. The Chivas defense has numbers back and they are keeping a high line so the Rapids have to avoid running in offside. Furthermore, the Chivas setup leaves Mullen with few forward passing options. Now here's where Mullen channels his inner Euclid. He cuts inside to create an angle and look at the triangle with Deshaun Brown and a point in the open space. Mullen plays that pass into the space and Brown runs onto it. The triangle is complete. When Brown reaches the ball, he's inches from the end line. He needs to get rid of it quickly and he really has only one option, to cut the ball back into the middle. That's where Sturgis is making his run. And what a run it is. At the start of the play, Sturgis is near the top of the circle. As Mullen's pass went through to Brown, Sturgis began moving forward. But he's not sprinting yet. Sturgis waited until just before Brown gets the ball. Then he kicks it into high gear. Now that change of pace allows him to slip past his marker, Carlos Borja, without much trouble. And at that point, even Euclid could have finished it. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Let me know on Twitter or in the comments below what you thought of the goal and of this new studio that we have here. Join me again next time when we'll wind it back and break it down.